In this tutorial, we shall be learning some basic Excel formulas and functions you must know when using Excel to solve mathematical issues. We shall be using this data for this tutorial. The first is multiplication. Here we want to know the fees paid by each class. I put equal sign in this cell under school fees. I click the number of students in the first class. Put asterisk, which is multiplication sign. Then I click the school fees. Click enter. Now we have the fees for this class. To get the fees for other classes, I double click here. This action will autofill the other classes. The next is sum or addition. There are three methods of using sum in Excel. We have sum without formula, sum with formula, and sum with shortcut. First, sum without formula. Highlight the cells you want to sum up. From Home tab, go to Editing Group and select AutoSum. Click the drop down. From the options provided by Excel Select Sum. This will automatically sum up the values in the selected cells in the next cell. Put your cursor here to turn to black plus sign. Hold and drag to get others. The next method is to type equals sign where you want the answer. Type sum. This auto-suggestion box will come up. Double-click on the sum function to add to the cell if you don't want to type it. Highlight the cells you want to sum up the values. Then click Enter. Having gotten the sum of the first cell, put your cursor here and double-click to get others. The last sum method is to use shortcut keys. To do this, highlight all the cells you want to sum up. Click Alt plus equals sign to get the values summed up. Division. Here, we have these products. We have the quantities and the total cost. And we want to know the cost of each product. Put equals sign here. Click Cost. Put slash, which is division sign. Click on quantity of the product. Then click enter. Here we have the cost of this product. To get other, put your cursor here and double click or drag. Subtraction. Here we have sales price and cost price. To get the profit in this cell, type equals sign. I click the sales price of this product. I type minus sign. Click cost price. And click enter. To get other the profit of other products. I put mu cursor here and drag to the end of the data. Average. There are three methods of using average function in Excel. The first is average without formula. Here we have some students and their scores in some selected courses. I highlight the cells that I want to get the average. From Home tab to Editing Group. Select AutoSum drop down. From the options provided. Select Average. This will add the average to the next empty cell. To get the average for other students, put your cursor here. Hold and drag. The next method is type plus sign. Type average or start typing average and select average from the options provided by Excel. 
Highlight the cells you want the average. Click Enter. Put your cursor here and double-click to get others. The last method is to put equal sign. Type average. Highlight the cells you want to get the average. Click Enter. Double-click to get others. Percentage. Here we have some staff salaries. Also, we have tax deductions. The staff want to know the percentage of their salaries deducted as tax. So, I put equal sign here. Click the cell that contains the tax amount. Put slash. Click on the salary. Click Enter. Now we know the percentage being deducted from this staff. To get others, I double click here. To add percentage sign from number group, I click on percentage. Hope you have gotten some value from this tutorial. If you did, Please give this video a like. Subscribe to this channel. Click the bell icon so YouTube will notify you once I drop a new video. Do share this video with family and friends. Have a great day.